Hello and welcome. Today we have a look at the Seasonic Prime Gold 650 watts power supply. Now those were a lot of words, so let's just unbox this and see what's inside the box. That was pretty quick, not, not painless at all. Now some award, but it's for another power supply or I'm confused. Don't know much about uh, awards on the box, but 80 plus gold standard, that means it's uh, very power efficient and the brand is pretty known. I fell for it. Okay, Seasonic is a known brand. Probably I paid more than, uh, than I should have for this kind of power supply, but this is a lot of information if you want to read it and some specifications and the cables it's a modular power supply i'm gonna plug in on the cables anyway but this is what what cables it comes with it has all the cables i need for the new computer and uh, i could have used the existing power supply 550 watts but i thought since everything is uh, changed it might be a better idea to just get a new one just in case and 650 watts because this was a good price a good deal i think it's not really needed so much for the computer i have but uh, yeah it's there in case i upgrade something in the future trying to figure out how to open this box finally <laughs> figured it out okay this is some fancy box for a power supply and what's inside Power supply stuff. Yep. Some cable management. I I never got a power supply that comes with cable management. This is pretty classy for a power supply. There are some goodies. Around here. Some cable ties and uh, the zip ties. Yeah. Screws. Some stickers. Some fancy stickers even. Okay, this one is basic, but look at this one. This is like uh, some metal kind. Let me show you quickly. That I would put on the case if I liked stickers on the case. But I don't, I like to have the case clean, so no sticker. These are the cable ties, um, zip, zip ties, cable ties. It's with, uh, you can open them and close them. Management police will not come after me. I I have to admit that I mostly played with these. I didn't really use them, but okay. Uh, if you want to use these and you really care about how the cables look like in your case, which you should, I I I recommend that you do the cable management, which I don't do. But oh, look at this one. This is really nice. Yeah, I could, okay, they, they put a lot of effort into making something that you would actually want to display and that's really nice of them and some booklet and installation guide uh, Power supply mains cable and it comes in these are the cables and that's something we we need to use later that will test the power supply and okay let's look at the cables let's open them and look at them one by one in my case it's a bit ridiculous that i got this uh, modular power supply because actually i used all the cables so they might as well be non-modular but yeah they're there i might use extra cables for hard disks if i need but i don't so if you do, you have this option. Uh, power supply for uh, graphics card PCIe. Two cables. That's pretty nice. Two cables for PCIe. The processor uh, power. The cables are labeled PS PSU, where on the side that goes in the power supply, and CPU, PCIe, or whatever they are on the other side. That's the main ATX connector. Yeah, 
more cables we get some cables for SATA SATA connections and this one is a short SATA cable it's nice to have it if you have a hard disk next to or a SSD next to the power supply this will convert this will convert some something to SATA Molex cable if you still use that smell test on the Molex connector it uh, actually pushes the connector out of the slot here we have the SATA connector SATA power and how you connect it to the power supply they're all pretty much the same that's pretty standard and this one I should know what this is but let me know what it is and uh, actual power supply it's uh, well protected in some foam and it's inside the bag and I'm sure this bag uh, it's most of the protection for this power supply but there is some dust in there I don't understand why why it's dusty or if it's some uh, material from the foam or it's just uh, this felt fabric that is doing that I have no idea okay that's the power supply the modular uh, Part looks pretty nice actually it uh, looks really good big fun and yeah smell test oh smells like raw power smell test smells like fresh fresh Coils, fresh transformer, fresh transformer, fresh coils, fresh capacitors. Now, if this is not embarrassing, I don't know what is. I left this for you just to enjoy that and have a laugh. Okay, the power supply has some this thing. I don't know really what it's used for this is useful it's a hybrid mode where you can have the power supply using the fan or not using the fan when it's uh, it doesn't need to so you can have a cool and silent PC specifications read here and pause if you want to read more about it I don't really care about the details of how much power it can deliver I just want it to work really and to last as long as possible and to be stable and that's why I fell for this brand. Hopefully it's not gonna disappoint. That's the inside that looks pretty clean and juicy and uh, like a lot of strong components for a lot of power delivery in the future. And let's, uh, let's plug in all the cables and uh, test it eventually because I wanna test it before I use it. And you should do the same. Before you use the power supply and you put it on the computer, um, most of the power supplies should have this tester and if they don't have the tester you can make it yourself uh, I'll show you how what the tester does is just it's shorting two pins you just plug in the tester on the ATX connector and that's all you have to do you plug in the power the fan should spin if the fan spins make sure you you have this uh, hybrid mode on and off just press it if it doesn't spin and now it's spinning and that means that our power supply is ready to be installed and it's working you see the hybrid mode stops the fan so now even though it's on the fan is off to keep it silent when I press the button and it's engaged the fan spins so this is all ready to be installed it's it even tested if you want to go further you might want to test the the output voltages on each uh, rail but really that's going too far for me if the fan spins it's good enough ready to be installed especially because it's new 
Thank you for watching this video and if you want to see more videos like this make sure to subscribe and press the bell to get notifications when we upload new videos. Let me know in the comment section below how you find this video and if you want to see more and let me know if the video was embarrassing enough because I, sh I left a few parts that I might have uh, cut out but I left them for you to have a bit of fun. Subscribe, like and share and I will see you next time. Bye.